r slash r credit. The most what the duck moment with your siblings. <laughs> My sister discovered her inner thinking voice when she was like 4. She came downstairs into the kitchen totally distraught and said, who is talking to me all the whole time? Everywhere I go somebody talks to me about the things I do, but I can't see anybody. If a child told me that I would be scared that they were suffering from some kind of mental illness. When my older brother was 4 or 5, he scared the hit out of my mom by telling her there were voices in his head. But he couldn't understand what they were saying. She took him to the doctor. Understandably a bit upset. Turned out he had water in his ear. Didn't know what it was. And assumed it was talking to him. My half siblings are 8 and 9 years younger than me. On one Sunday morning I woke up to laughter and weary. Sounds coming from downstairs. I went to investigate and found that they had emptied a carton of milk. Through which they were now sliding around on the floor. Naked. I'm imagining you are all in your 40s. Do you mean right now or when the incident took place? Lol. My mom was recently divorced and had a friend with a daughter my age. Let's call him Mark. The daughter and I were both 14 and got a lot of alone time together. So obviously there was some mutual experimenting. Well it got really weird about 2 years later when my mom and Mark announced they were getting married and I was going to have a new stepsister. Never trust daughters who are called Mark. What a story. When I was about 4, my parents told my brother, aged 13, to take my sister and I for a walk for an hour. I think my parents wanted some private time. He took us for a walk alright. We were gone for 12 hours. My parents were frantic and the police were looking for us. God knows what he was thinking, but he's always been a bit of an idiot. Did he stubbornly refuse to go back after an hour? Did y'all just start walking and taking random turns? The simplest thing probably would have been to go to a park for an hour. I don't remember the details clearly, but I do remember that we just kept walking. Like I said, my brother is an idiot. Overwrote my save file to start a new game. Bastard. I will never forgive you. My little brother did the bottle glitch over my megaton hammer in Zelda Ocarina of Time, replaced the hammer with a bottle. When I couldn't get past a certain section of the game due to having no hammer, I confronted him and asked why my hammer was a bottle. He swore that he didn't know why. But I knew. I always knew. 20 years later. He brings it up. And says that he did it on purpose because he was mad at me. Pretend to have let it pass. Water under the bridge. Grow and remain close. Through to your twilight years. Then one day. As he reaches for his heart medication, he'll find a hammer in place of the bottle and know the debt is paid. I was out on a car ride with my dad and we arrived back at the house at like 3am. My front door opens straight into my kitchen and I throw open the door expecting an empty kitchen only to see my brother buck ass naked standing in front of the sink. I screamed why the duck are you naked? He scrambled back to the shower. Apparently he was mid shower. His back hurt. So he went to the kitchen to start heating water for a hot water bottle for his back. And just stopped to have a snack or something while waiting for the water to boil. All while leaving the shower running. My dad still laughs about it. Edit. Clarification. Edit 2. Yes. 3 AM. My family keeps odd hours. Especially back when we were at school and it was summer break. What else are you supposed to do when you get hungry? You get naked and eat. The time I came home from school and found a horse in the garden. Which my brother had bought from nearby gypsy campsite. Had a wonderful. He was 16 at the time. To this day I still do not know how he got the horse on there. We lived in terraced housing. So garden access was through the house or the back gate which led to a very narrow alley. All I know is the next morning it was gone. I was sitting in front of the television one day when my sister walked behind me. She threw a little bouncy ball at me. But it bounced off my head. Hit the television. Bounced back off my head and back at her. She was so surprised that it was such a perfect shot that she decided to try again to repeat it. I was so happy that my sister was playing with me that I sit there as she threw this ball at my head trying to repeat the shot for like a half hour. Dude that's so depressing. Honestly. When I was a kid. 
I'd imitate everything my older brother would do because I wanted to hang around him. He's my best guy friend and returning for breaks from college and hanging out with him is the best. When I was younger. I was playing outside when I heard my little brother giggling like a maniac around the other side of the house in the backyard. I went to see what was going on. And he was gleefully peeing into my dog's open mouth as the dog was lapping it up. While dangerously close to his doodle. Edit as a bonus story. It'll tell you about the time my brother almost caught me smoking when I was in high school. There is a barn across from a small pond by my house. And one winter my friend Murph and I were sparking up in the upper floor. We hear the dogs get let outside and someone mumbling. And we peek out the window so that we can keep tabs on whoever was outside now. My little brother is walking towards the frozen pond with a pickaxe. And then begins to break apart the ice. After has chopped it up a bit. He crouches down like a goddamn monkey. Takes a chunk of pond ice. And begins eating it while looking back and forth. To make sure nothing sneaked up on him while he ate. It was like watching the Godam Nature channel. Edit 2. Okay let's talk about my stepbrother for a second. Since this got so popular. Hopefully people are still reading this. Cause this dude is a gold mine of dumb hit. Not as much WTF material. More just how dumb is this dude kinda stuff. Not many are stories I can make into something of length. So I'll just do snippets. He bought a blank UZ over to my house and ask me if he could fire it out the room of my window. I told him no. It's going to sound like you're firing a ducking gun. He did it anyway. And then was shocked that it sounded so loud. To cover his tracks. He went downstairs to see if my family heard it. He came back up later saying I told them we were popping balloons. With a smug smile on his face. He once offered me $100 to blow up a weather balloon in my room until it popped. I declined. In the dead of winter. He propped a ladder up against my roof and then army crawled up the icy shingles with two butter knives as climbing tools. And then began pounding on my window to let him in cause it was cold outside. He bought one of those hoverboards. Lit to smoke bombs. And rode it while spinning in circles as I filmed him. Until he started coughing so bad he couldn't keep going. He regularly buys designer clothes. Like polo shirts and Nike shoes and the like. These clothes usually looking stupid as hell. Like the white polo he bought with a giant tree with a sun behind it. Often giving them to me after a week cause nah man I don't want these. What was I thinking? One time he asked me to drive him to Plato's closet to sell off two duffel bags full of stuff like this. He'll never forget his gangster swagger walk back to my car. And him proudly announcing man I got 20 bucks. He once was trying to convince me to help him put a trampoline on the roof so he could use it to jump off said roof into the pond nearby. Took a lot of convincing to explain that he won't make a jump that far. Afterwards he wanted to have the trampoline on the ground instead. Then I had to explain how in the best case scenario he simply misses and hurts himself. But more likely he'd go right through it and break his legs. The roof is on the second story of the house on that side of the yard. This is the best one in the thread. My sister cut my hangy down thingy that connects my upper lip with my gums with a pair of scissors while I was asleep. The internet tells me this is called the frenulum. We were naughty best of friends growing up. Number app. I knew I'd find a logical response here somewhere. I was this close to beating M. Bison in Street Fighter second and my big brother pulled the plug because he wanted me out of the room to smoke weed with his buddies. A case of justifiable fratricide, if I ever did hear one. I dreamed to see one day a headline in the newspaper reading. Acquitted by justifiable fratricide. <laughs> My little sister looked at me dead eyed once and told me you have demons in you. You need to get them out or something along those lines. I asked her WTF she was talking about and she just kinda went back to doing her thing. The girl was like 8, so I don't think she was trying to troll me. Also she ran my GBA under running water once. That ratted miscreant. My brother and I were in our early teens. Mom and dad divorced when we were 4, 6 ish. Mom never dated anyone. One day we found a sausage in a tied up condom. Pukes were had. Well at least you know what to get her for Christmas. Edit. Cheers for the gold. Hillshire farm. Geo meat. 
My brother tried to kill me. He was 13. I was 9. He was always a bully and picked on me relentlessly, but this day he threw me on the ground and started choking me with both hands. Not in a way, like you see on TV when someone just squeezes your neck. But the correct way, where you jam both thumbs into someone's trachea. Couldn't breath. Couldn't gasp. Just felt cold and my vision started to go to tunnel vision. Then black. When I came to my mom had hit him over the head with a broom. I don't remember much after that, but I'll never trust him. I like your mom. So do I. Probably when I was 9 and my older brother was 13. We were home watching TV one day during the summer. He was flipping through channels and stopped on an episode of Donahue that featured a male stripper right in the middle of his routine with an audience of middle-aged women cheering. He put the remote down and excitedly said. We are watching this. He's now married with two kids and is aspiring to be a Baptist minister. He's now married with two kids and is aspiring to be a Baptist minister. He gay. So. So gay. No he prayed it away. Sister logged into my runescape account and finished the dragon slayer quest that 10 year old me with limited playtime had spent months to gear up for. I was devastated. I once asked my brother for help beating one boss in a Kirby game. And what does he do? Finishes the rest of the damn game. What the heck bro I will given you one of the three accounts on it when I was done with it myself. But no woo. Edit, why am I getting downvoted for Squeak Squad? I've heard it's not the best Kirby game by any means, but it was the first one I ever played. I never got a chance to play any of the other ones. I got quite a late start in life. This reminds me of a thing happened to me a long while ago. I was fighting Dino Blade, Bird Boss, from Kirby and, because I was an idiot kid I didn't realize that the boss only took damage from the head, so I couldn't beat it. I kept attacking the body. I asked a brother of mine who was 3, 4 years older than me to beat it. Somehow he one shots the boss with one attack, must have been a glitch or something. I was amazed and couldn't believe it. He just looked at me like I was an idiot because the boss was so easy for him. I was winning a watermelon eating contest. My sister, realizing she could never beat me, picked up her half watermelon and bashed me in the back of the head with it. Knocking me out cold. Did she actually use your loss of consciousness to catch up and eat more watermelon than you? Because if not, technically, you still won because you were leading prohibitively at the suspension of play caused by the injury. I haven't reviewed the most recent update on the official international watermelon eating competition rules. But I will put this in my pocket and start calling it a win. My sister spoiled Dumbledore's death for me. She read the Half-Blood Prince in 24 hours. Asked me if I wanted to know what happened. I said no. She told me anyway. I'm still mad. Duck you. Laura. Dumbledore died. Snake kills Dumbledore. Imit. Continent. Came downstairs from being asleep. Living room is in disarray. Blood drops are on the floor and I see little flecks here and there on the wall. I say to my G slash F what the duck happened? Concerned someone got injured or something. Your brothers had a scissor fight she tells me. A scissor fight? Yes. Those two ducking brain surgeons took up craft scissors and went at each other in my living room while my, no doubt horrified, G slash F watched on in shock and awe. They were gone by the time I woke up, thank Christ. But the evidence was hard to miss. My brother. Directly after the funeral. Stole our uncle's war medals from his bedroom. His wife found out. Told me and my mother, and then my mother made me sneak them back in. What a runt. Ducking like and subscribe.